The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, has developed a robot platform that is able to detect the rock instability at a mine to prevent fatalities. Early warning and monitoring rock stability in the mines could reduce accidents significantly so, which could also help to sustain an industry that is one of the cornerstones of the country's economy. To talk to us more about this latest technology is John Isaac, and he is a CSIR as a research group leader uh, in embedded intelligence systems and he joins us from our studios in Hetfield and Pretoria. Mr. Isaac, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, good morning and good morning viewers. Now we have a picture of this uh, robot system but tell us more about this development. It sounds and looks like this could be an answer to fatalities in South African mines. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, let me just situate uh, this um, uh, this product first within a wider context. There are significant challenges in our mining sector, especially for our underground gold and platinum mines. It's becoming more or increasingly difficult and expensive to get the ore out of the ground from deeper and deeper underground and to do so safely. We've been seeing a decline in South Africa's competitive position along the whole mining value chain globally, and South Africa's uh, response to this has been very fragmented in terms of all of its stakeholders, from government, industry, and the R&D uh, organizations. All right, let's just take... So, um, yes. Uh, all right, let, let's talk about the recent... Uh, so, uh, uh, it's fine, you can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's a bit of a delay, so that's why I'm uh, stammering a little bit. So now things are changing, however. There was a mining Pakisa in 2015, and the stakeholders have gotten together in the mining industry to see what's the way forward, and we've got now a South African mining extraction research development and innovation strategy that is now trying to position South Africa to be ahead in this game a little bit. And within that context, a new uh, mining precinct has been established, funded by the DST in Johannesburg, that gets all of these stakeholders together uh, to improve the technological capabilities of the local firms. Uh, we have about 44 representatives of various organizations uh, at the mining precinct. And now, this is so that we can get South African companies uh, to develop South African products for South African solutions. The CSRR is mandated the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is mandated to do directed multidisciplinary R&D in the national interest. And because of this mining situation that I've just mentioned now, this is obviously in the national uh, interest. And this is uh, the rock pulse that you're showing. That product is one of a number of products that we're, being, uh, uh, that we're currently developing to address uh, the challenges in mining. All right. L let's take so the... Now, the let, let me just address the uh, rock pulse. All right, yeah. L I, I was coming to that particular point because we've recently seen um, an accident occurring at one of the Sibanya steel water mines here in Gauteng. In such instances of rock falls, how would this robot um, or technology prevent such disaster from happening? Um, yes, yeah, so let me look at the wider problem of rockfall. So the rock pulse that uh, the picture that you showed earlier is one of the R&D works that's happening at the CSR. It's been happening over a period of 10 years and is now internationally patented. One of its application areas is to provide early warning of large rockfall. Um, now, rockfall is one of the leading causes of fatality in mm -hmm. underground mining areas. So uh, anything that we can do to improve the situation is uh, very, very welcome. Uh, in the past, there was not really technology that provided this early warning. And now we are there. We, we do have something. Yeah. Uh, so there are huge safety and economic implications if underground mine workers uh, can be alerted to safely move out of the area of risk. So right. this is the rock pulse technology that is uh, um, uh, uh, that you had displayed over there. Now let me just stress, however, that this rock pulse it gives early warning for large rock falls. Okay. It's not useful for every type of early warning, and mm. uh, you know, like if you've got loose dangling rock uh, that's about to fall off, it's not going to give you. Uh, early warning on that. All right. Large rock falls, yes. All right. Th and there's so an, much uh, to get to. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, Mr. Program, Isaac.
we, we've run out of time, but um, perhaps yes. we'll, we'll, we'll invite you once again to also look into the broader program by the, uh, the Department of, so of, of Science in South Africa. But thank you so much. We'll leave it at that for today. Thank you so much to... Um, John Isaac, he is CSIR, is a research group leader in embedded intelligence systems. He was joining us live from our studios in Hatfield and Pretoria. Let's take a quick head break here.